hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create bootstrap select multiple drop down checkbox list control in PHP using jQuery I am reloading the browser see here we got the new output the drop down list control with a selected checkbox control, with a multi select checkbox control select all that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I'm using notepad plus plus for this video tutorial and I'm creating a new PHP page in this notepad plus plus before adding the PHP code in this notepad plus plus let's visit the getbootstrap.com website we'll grab the latest HTML5 bootstrap template getbootstrap.com getbootstrap.com is the official website of the bootstrap the current version is 4.1.0 click get started come to the bottom notice here the starter template I'm copying this part copy to clipboard and I'm pasting the code here let's save this file jQuery bootstrap multi select checkbox dot php save after saving the file inside the body I am adding center tag, closing the center. I just added the header tags h1, h2, and h3. Let's save this file. After horizontal line, I am adding label and closing label. Inside this label, Please select country. Select. I'm closing the select. Option. Before writing the PHP code. Let's upload this PHP file into my remote server. We'll check the output how it looks the designing part. Login. I just logged into my Bluehost admin area. Manage orders, list such orders. WPCharan.com is my domain name. I want to upload the file into this domain. I'm clicking that one. Admin details. I just logged into my Bluehost cPanel account. I'm uploading that file. Under file section, there's a file manager. Click that one. And notice here the public underscore HTML is, is the root folder of my web domain. I'm uploading the file into this public underscore HTML. Upload. Select file. The file name is jQuery. This is a file name. Open. Let's copy this. We'll check the output of this page. wpcharan.com is my website. Enter. And here we got the output of that code. The header tags h1, h2 and h3 on horizontal line and the label is the select option. We forgot to delete this one, we'll delete afterwards. Now my aim is I want to make this select option control to multi-select bootstrap jQuery checkbox control. And I want to bind that data from my remote database hosting PHP my admin. Let's visit my PHP my admin cpanel 
come to the bottom php my admin wpchdvf is a database i'm expanding the folder and wpchdvf underscore charan is my user database i'm expanding that one the table i'm using tbl country let's browse the table and here we got the results of this tbl country which contains two columns id and country name id is the auto generate and the country name contains some country names i want to bind this country name column to the drop down list control which is a select option let's switch over to the notepad plus plus we will finish the rest of the code and the first thing i'm deleting the h1 tag hello world and the title php tutorials now about the doc type i'm adding php code php now in this php code the first thing i am declaring the connection variables dollar host name is equals to local host dollar db which is a database name wpchdvf underscore charan is my user database dollar username username dollar password and password and notice the username and password have given the fake ones just for the security reasons but at the time of uploading this php file into my remote server i will add my real credentials dollar con is equals to new pdo between double quotes the first variable is a data provider is my sql small letters colon host is equals to dollar the variable name is a host name semicolon db name is equals to this one dollar db comma the username and the last one is a password dollar sql is equals to i'm adding here the select query select the column name is a country underscore name from the table name is a tbl country try catch now in this try block i'm adding the state i'm creating a variable statement dollar con prepare method which takes a parameter of this sql query dollar sql dollar stmt i'm executing the sql statement execute method dollar results dollar stmt fetch all fetch all records from this column name country name and catch exception dollar ex echo dollar ex get message method that's it we have done the coding part now i need to add this column name country name in this select option the select i'm creating the id the id name is select country 
I want to make this select option multiple select multiple is equals to multiple PHP for each dollar this results as dollar output now in this option I'm adding PHP code PHP echo dollar output now in this double quotes I'm adding the country name which is a column name semicolon and let's close these brackets after the option PHP that's it let's save this file we'll check the output the country name column is added to the select option or not cPanel file manager select file joker bootstrap s i'm reloading the browser and here we got the output of the code and we had just binded the data from this dbl country now i want to make this control select option to multi select checkbox control using jquery bootstrap so for that i need to visit latest jquery bootstrap multi select cdn links jquery bootstrap multi select cdn google and here i got the results I'm selecting the first option bootstrap multi select this one and notice the second URL contains only multiple select we need to select the bootstrap multi select select this one now in this bootstrap multi select I'm selecting this CSS file and one JS file let's copy this CSS file I'm adding here bootstrap CSS link here link rel style sheet href I'm pasting that multi select bootstrap CSS link here I'm pasting here the type text CSS now this time I'm adding the script script source is equals to I'm closing the script let's switch back again we'll copy the bootstrap multi select JS link and this time I'm copying the JS file copy I'm pasting here it's a c, small c small s after adding the bootstrap multi select CSS and JavaScript links after the horizontal line I'm adding a small JavaScript code script type is equals to text JavaScript script dollar function
dollar between single quotes I'm adding the select ID hash dot multi select is a method include select all option colon true that's it let's save this file we'll check the final output on the browser let's upload the file again select file jquery checkbox control s I'm reloading the browser see here we got the new output the drop-down list control with a selected checkbox with a multi select checkbox control select all that's it